from from Chile. How'd you get into comedy? Yes. Walk us down this road. Tell our audience like who you are, like as far as like how you got into this business. Uh, well, uh, I'm from Santiago, Chile, uh, in South America. This is like the last country on the planet, probably, like right next to the <laughs> Antarctica. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I grew up there, and I I was watching like cable channels, and I just started watching specials of HBO. Uh, at the time, there was no that many comedy in Chile. I mean, there was like all joke tellers, like TV personalities who just tell mm. jokes, but not like like stand up comedy. And I watch uh, Eddie Murphy Raw, and I watch. I mean, it was like a loose black special from the, at the time. I, I watched like a bunch of specials, and I started thinking about like trying to do something like that in Chile. So uh, with a couple of friends, years later, we start doing the first like stand proper stand up comedy shows there. Uh, I think it was like around 2007 or something. Wait, so, well, so are you kind of like the Martin Luther King for Chilean stand-up comedy? Thank you for saying <laughs> that. Thank you. I was waiting for someone finally address that, you know? Uh, yeah, kind of, you know? I had a dream and the dream was doing stand-up. <laughs> and uh, then I, we, we started doing a TV show. We started doing tours. We, like It was really successful right away. And um, I'm, I'm, a bunch of my friends still are there doing stand-up, doing shows. But then I decided to move to America, trying to like do things in another language, starting to start all over again in a new place. And I moved here two years ago, and I'm starting doing stand-up in English now. And uh, I try to have a balance between both worlds. I travel to Chile all the time to keep mm. still doing shows. I travel to Mexico a lot. I have a, a fan base there. I, I've been traveling all over South America. I did a tour in Australia this year. Uh, so I, 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 I work everywhere, and now I'm working in two languages, and, I, and this is, that's my life. Nice. And right. that's it. That's, oh. Thank you guys for having Amazing. me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, that's awesome, man. I, um, you are, I don't think the audience, maybe the, your Chilean audience, your Mexican audience probably realize it, but I don't know if the people in the studio realize just how big you are in Chile. Like, yeah. you do your research and yeah, you're, <laughs> you're popping, man. You are what Trevor Noah was to stand up in South Africa is like yeah. what you are to Chile and oh. stand up, yeah. I would say. That sounds cool. I didn't have the same <laughs> story of Trevor Noah and God, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was rough. It was a his book. bit of a rough time. Yeah, <laughs> I can't write that book. I my book is gonna be like three pages of like yeah, it was all fun. Uh, <laughs> and the thing is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've been doing comedy there for ten years, more than ten years, like twelve. And uh, I have, I, I mean, we were the first, so there's a lot of people who really like enjoy our work. And it's fun to be there. It's fun to do shows for like big crowds and having mm -hmm. blasts with like Chilean audience. But like my mind now is like trying to like do more material and do more shows here yeah. in LA. And uh, since I moved here, I realized this is probably the hardest town to find gigs in America. You oh, know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's a lot of work. It's it's also a lot of fun. You make a lot of friends. You meet a lot of cool people. But it's a, it's a, it's a new game. You know, mm -hmm. so sometimes, yeah, I'm in Chile doing like an arena, and next week I'm for five people in Cold Are Brasilia. you doing arenas? <laughs> That's what I was gonna ask yes, you. What what kind of gigs are you? Play? You're doing fucking arenas in Chile. Like, how many people does that see? Right now, yeah, like last week we did a big show with a friend, and it was like a 5k. Uh, you know, the audience was like around, yeah, like. I mean, I can I can show you a picture. I, I didn't count the numbers, but but it's a thousands, lot. right? It's a, it's a, yeah, yeah. We yeah. we can bring big crowds now, but it took us like ten years, you know. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a lot of work and building and uh, explain mm -hmm. because uh, you know people here stand up comedy has been here for like I don't know sixty years or something, you yeah. know. Uh, but in Chile, it was so new that I remember people thought it was like karaoke, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, these guys are just going stage and just like they just talk, talk oh, without the music. Like this karaoke without the music. It's not like, it's uh, and and still, sometimes I do shows yeah. and people are like, "Oh, you you should do shows in our bar." And I would like I go to check the place and it's like just impossible. You know, impossible. it's like a sushi place or something. You know. <laughs> Yeah, shit, uh, you do it anyway. Why are you eating sushi? Just bang, oh, bang. Yeah. Yeah. Sushi, hit that, a joke. That's also fun, yeah. I'm but sure it's still, still like a work in progress there. Yeah. But there's a lot of great comedians in South America. And the cool thing is Netflix now is putting out there a bunch of like great comics mm -hmm. from Mexico and Colombia and Argentina. So you can check them everywhere. And I think there's a cool, like really like a good generation of stand-up comedians there now. 
question. Mm-hmm. Did you fe- receive any like negative social feedback as you were trying to do it for maybe older people in the area? You know, don't like people talking a certain way. Maybe not. They don't like you making fun of Jesus or something. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Ever, did you get a lot of that at all? With a couple of friends, we did a TV show and we started doing like, I mean, it, they were so dumb. If you watch them now, you'll be like, this is, no one can get angry about this. Mm-hmm. But we started doing a sketch when Jesus was Chilean. So it was mm-hmm. like a Latino Jesus. <laughs> 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 Playing soccer, and you know, like, you know, it, it was so nice with Jesus. Jesus yeah. was so cool, you yeah. know, like, yeah, yeah. and I obviously, like, all the people just get crazy angry. Nice. Um, and by the way, Chile is really conservative. It's yeah. a really conservative mm-hmm. country, yeah. and uh, and we we have a story of like the dictatorship. It was there for many years, and he really like changed the culture to like this really like. I don't know, divorce is like a thing that happened in 1995, you know, mm-hmm. like it is so old fashioned in many, yeah. so many ways that people just get so angry at us. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, now that once again, like the younger people is more, yeah. the internet saves us all and at the same time uh, gives us a lot of trouble. But it's in, at some point, like internet really changed the mind of a generation. And now yeah. people get fun of everything, you know, can, mm-hmm. can get cool. laugh, get a laugh with Jesus. Nice. Mm-hmm. Laugh along with Jesus. We just happen to have black Jesus sitting right next to you. Black Jesus! <laughs> <laughs>